I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. In House floor remarks on Thursday, Congressman Louis Gohmert railed against what he sees as a two-tiered social system in the U.S. The outgoing Texas Republican representative predicted that only wealthy elites will enjoy air travel and protections from violence. The GOP congressman pointed the finger at former Vice President Al Gore for taking private flights. He also attacked frequent GOP target Hunter Biden over his alleged business dealings prior to his father's presidency. Gohmert, while not up for re-election following a failed run for Texas Attorney General, is sounding frequent Republican talking points heading into the midterms. Take a listen to Gohmert's fiery remarks. When Mary Miller tells you something, you can count on her being truthful about it. Uh, so yesterday, we had many hours of hearing and judiciary on a couple of bills. One of them, um, the Democrat majority and leaders in the judiciary in the Democratic Party were saying repeatedly that no one has gotten the immunity from liability like the gun manufacturers. And that was said many ways, many different times, vilifying gun manufacturers. Now, what it boils down to is, in the Second Amendment, uh, it makes very clear that, in the operative part, that the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Well, it's been infringed many times. The Supreme Court has had to strike things down many times. So the effort to eliminate the Second Amendment through the courts has not occurred. But we're dealing with some smart people. You can be smart and not have common sense. We're dealing with some smart people here who have figured out, okay, we've tried every which way to get rid of the Second Amendment. Uh, if we're ever going to get to the progressive, socialist, communist dream, whichever one of those you want to use, it's all pretty well the same thing these days, uh, you're going to have to get rid of the Second Amendment. The, the left knows that. Uh, and they've made some strides. They've made some dents into the Second Amendment. But this is going to make use, if they get it passed into law, uh, not of warfare, but of what's come to be known as lawfare. It's where you overwhelm someone or some entity with so many lawsuits that they cannot continue. And if it's an entity, you put them out of business simply not because they're liable, but they're, it's because they can't handle that many lawsuits. It just undoes them and puts them out of business. And if you look historically uh, where that would take us is to the medieval type thinking where you had this small group of elites. They rode everywhere we went, they went and us peasants would walk everywhere we went. Uh, maybe there was a big wagon that would carry the peasants at times. But the ruling elite, which is what you get with socialism, progressivism, this tiny veneer ruling elite that billionaires in America think mistakenly that they'll be part of if they help get to that socialist utopia, uh, being ignorant of the fact that every time a nation moves to socialist utopia. Once they're there, they thank the gazillionaires for all the money they help make uh, 
the socialist dream come true, and then they either kill them or send them to a gulag and take all of their money. So these billionaires that are pouring in money, the socialist leaders saying, thank you very much, oh, we appreciate you so much, but if they get to that socialist utopia, those billionaires that made it possible will either be dead or wish they were because they're in some prison, some gulag somewhere doing work requirements. Uh, so that's historically what we're talking about, but I, I keep coming back to that vision of, of what is being pursued and what will the outcome be. Once you either eliminate the Second Amendment or you eliminate every entity that makes guns, then the ruling elite can get closer to their dream of being the ones riding in private jets, in suburbans, up armored, being the ones, the only ones in America who have guns for their security forces while all the peasants, the masses, the unwashed, all of us would have nothing. And we would have to kowtow and bow. Now, I got a little taste of that the summer I was in the Soviet Union as an exchange student back in the 70s. And, and I thought it was crazy. We were told there were eight Americans allowed in on this program. We were told in orientation, look, you've got to understand in a communist society like the Soviet Union, only the elite have cars. Everybody else takes mass transportation or walks. So in the United States, pedestrians generally have the right of way, but don't think for a second, we were told, anywhere in the Soviet Union that you have the right of way as a pedestrian because only the ruling elite have the cars and it's a game to them. They will try to hit you because they know as the ruling elite, if it ever came to court or there was some question about you as a pedestrian being hit, the ultimate result would be a ruling that you should have seen the car coming and gotten out of the way because these are the ruling elites and you are the peasants. Great socialist utopia. That's where we're headed if these kind of bills get passed. If you can't get rid of the Second Amendment, the strategy that we lived through hours of yesterday, bankrupt the gun manufacturers and then we'll be on our way, and that way only the ruling elite will have security forces with guns, and everybody else will either walk or take the mass transportation. The ruling elite gets the private jets. And see, it's okay to just have massive amount of carbon emissions in private helicopters, private jets, you know, big suburbans like Al Gore, used. I'd read where he was seen having an entourage of big jets. This is long after he was out of uh, leadership at, as vice president. But uh, the, they would all be sitting there cooling uh, for the vice president or, or former vice president. So that's the kind of thing that will continue. The ruling elite, they get to pollute like crazy their yachts, their private jets, those will continue. They'll, in fact, there'll be a lot more of them. Um, and, th and that's, you, you see people like the Biden family or Hunter Biden that's gotten close to uh, oligarchs in Russia, in Ukraine, and made money off the Chinese Communist Party because they're in charge in China, let's face it. But isn't it interesting that if you look at the policies and the things that this administration has done, 
who's benefited? Yeah, they talk a lot of trash about Russia, but at the same time, by the Biden, by President Biden basically going to war with energy companies in the U.S., he has so driven up the price of oil and natural gas that Russia's been able to fund their invasion of and war with Ukraine. 